In this video, we start work on the rougher part of 22 Ville, our custom LEGO City project with a unique house for every Series 22 CMS. Surprisingly, someone actually lives in this dump, the raccoon costume fan. Why do we get so many animal costume figures? I mean, they're cool and all, but just look at how many there have been. In my eyes, these animal costumes peaked in the earlier series, with the gorilla, dinosaur, and the panda, the ones where the figure's face isn't very visible. Some people probably like the exposed face, but I don't know, it just doesn't look very good to me. The raccoon figure itself looks fine, pretty much just a gray version of the fox, except with a worse looking tail. I mean, come on, Lego! This is what a raccoon tail looks like! Overall, it's in the top 10 best raccoons Lego has made, but behind Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy, and the one from the sequel, and the one from Endgame, and I think they made a Brickheads of him too? Ooh, and this one from Lego Friends. There was a poly bag? Sure, why not? It's better than that too. Oh, and you can't forget the coonskin cap from the Lego Movie minifigure series. Classic. <clears throat> well, at least it's better than the blue one from Pocahontas. Anyway, this figure also comes with some accessories, an alternate hairpiece, apparently it's an old woman? Pretty sure she's senile. And more importantly for us, it comes with a trash can, so we're gonna build a city dump for her to stay in. The dump's gonna be surrounded by this chain link fence, thank you Death Star, and this layout will give us just enough space for the three remaining houses. They'll be secured using illegal building techniques and clips, and although I really wanted to make the whole thing with barbed wire, we just don't have enough of these pieces, so these flexible tubes will act as a rim instead. A couple of extra plates later, and the fence is done. Now we'll cover the ground with this dirty pattern of grays and browns as our floor. It might not look the greatest, but hey, this is a dump after all. Besides, we'll be covering it up with a bunch of trash anyways. I'll add a gate here to fill this gap in. Not sure if this is to keep trespassers out or to keep her in. Yeah, she's definitely senile. But now I'm gonna make a crane. I'm basically just building this one from the Toy Story set, but modified a bit, mostly due to a lack of pieces. Plus, we've already used part of it for the Birdwatcher's roof. I'll also add these weird canister things on the side, but I don't know if we're keeping those. We're not keeping those. Let's add a topper on the arms, put a few more details around the sides, and spruce up the interior a bit. Now I'll pop this baby onto a little support system, and we're good to put it into the dump. This hook will be useful for all kinds of things later on, and it can even support a wrecking ball. Now I'm gonna build somewhere for the raccoon lady to stay. I wanna make a shipping crate, using these blue corrugated walls from this rocket set. Except, just building up blank blue walls looks a bit bland. Nice alliteration. So instead, I'm gonna attach tiles on the sides to make it look corrugated all the way around. Plus, this chain lets us open up the inside, which we'll save for later. Instead of attaching to the ground, I'm just gonna let it sit freely so we can pick it up and move it with the crane if we want. I never should have moved my pirate ship down from its display, because now we've been stealing from it way too much, including these wooden support beams that I used to make this billboard. We printed and cut out this sign with the name of the place, Coonskin Dump, that'll go right back here. Perfect. With the other builds, we were able to spin the finished product around on this platform, but since we physically cannot do that with this one, here's the trash we'll be using instead. Alright, there's a lot of trash here, so let's just hit some of the highlights. Empty can, baseball bat, soccer ball, box of cornflakes, surfboard, plunger, bagpipes, viking shield, overpriced coffee, Pizza boxes, pom pom, life preserver, saxophone, balloon, pirate ship figurehead, waffle, guitar case, stuffed bear, shout out to my cousin stuffed raccoon, raccoony, traffic cone, pinata, croissant, Lego box, picket sign, toilet, gonk, piece of resistance, diving helmet, scrapped spaceship part, pineapple, Martian helmet, dirty sock, unsuspicious birthday cake, sombrero, chicken leg, and this satellite dish. Whew. In the midst of all this garbage, Raccoon Lady actually sleeps on top of this shipping crate, since the inside is used for something else. Some nice comfy plywood with a trash bag pillow. It's not much, but at least she doesn't have to worry about paying off any house loans. And despite the ominous signs on the outside of the fence, Coonskin Dump is now open for business. There's still one very important thing left to talk about, but so far, this whole thing looks great, or at least as great as a literal garbage dump can look. We'll eventually tidy up this backside when it connects to a future build, but it'll be fine for the time being. Now, let's finally take a look inside the shipping crate. This is Raccoon Lady's doomsday shelter, where she stockpiles food and water and keeps this conspiracy board. She claims she was abducted by aliens years ago, whose testing and probing left her like this. Now she's made it her lifelong goal to discover the aliens' secrets and find out what's really happening. To do so, she siphons power from 22 tubes generators to run her makeshift supercomputer cobbled together from various parts around the city. Late at night, she also uses the crane to raise up this satellite dish and project high-frequency radio waves into space to scramble alien navigation systems. Her hysteria is getting worse. It's all she thinks about anymore. No sleeping, no eating, nothing! Until she lets the whole world know about the horrors that are approaching. The aliens are coming! The end is near! Ah! Or, you know, maybe she's just senile. 